How y'all doing? I want to start this message off with right now, I am not a prophet at all. And I don't want anyone to believe that I am trying to prophesy in this message. And I know this type of stuff gets overlooked and I'm begging you with all my heart. I don't care if you like, I don't even care if you subscribe, share it. It's more important today that people understand what is about to happen more than ever before. There has to be the witness. We have to have the witness, no matter what, because it proves God's existence, always. This is the reason why God always sent forth the witness, no different than John the Baptist. He always brings forth the witness. And I'm telling you right now, with everything inside of me, you have known about May 26. If you know anything about any of my videos, you know I have posted about May 26, 2021. All right, the Jubilee and the Shemitah is about to end. Israel just chose their five red heifers. All right, this means that the wrath of God is knocking at the door. Christ is about to open the doorknob to the door. That means the lion of Damascus, the lion of Jeremiah is about to come out of the thicket. That means that the fourth that stands up, the fourth person that stands up in uh, Daniel chapter 8, he's about to rise. That means every brother and sister we know that is in the promised land right now should flee. Like our Bible tells us to do. It tells us to flee before the lion comes. It tells us because we are aware, we see, we don't want our portion to go to the unbeliever, to be like the unbeliever's portion. All right, if you are not aware, it's gone. You lose it. It doesn't matter what you believe at all. It's because bottom line is the bride always knows the day of the marriage, <laughs> just like the Galilean marriage. All right, so I mean, there is a lot of things coming. The feast that's about to come upon us is going to open the door <sighs> for the famine to increase. Between now and May of next year, we should see our prices double. It will be start the third year or the beginning of the third year all right and all famines they started the third year every country began to fill it fill it even in your bible all three famines that are recorded in the bible it was the third year all right so y'all need to be ready spiritually don't worry about food yes be prepared get your flocks ready get your farms ready if you're in the cities get out it is time not to be afraid. This is not a time to be afraid. You should not fear what is about to happen because the Bible is clear. Once you are marked and the seal is put on you on the feast of God, and we all know what feast that is if we are the ones that are keeping the feast of God, if you receive that mark on the Feast of God, no wrath is coming upon your head. God is not going to give you wrath. He does not curse those he blesses, okay? Nope, that is not what Scripture says. Those that get the mark of destruction will be destroyed. Bottom line. By 2024, we will see the American eclipse. This will be the three and a half year mark, which is... <laughs> Kind of ironic that's in your Bible too, three and a half year mark. So I believe with everything inside of me, we're going to see this Syrian president and his allies move between now and around 2024. All right. Could it be now? That's why I'm saying this. I mean, they are aligning. Could it speed up? Yes, it could speed up. All right. I do see this coming 150%. All right, they are all analysts. Everyone straight across the board is saying that the Euphrates River will be completely dry by 2024. What is the coincidence of that one? All right, we're talking for real. As of the 26th of this month, Jupiter will be the closest it has been in 70 years. Right now, it's in the middle of the Pisces constellation. If you know anything about the Pisces constellation, read the myth read the story it's going to talk to you about the monster in the euphrates river the bible talks about 
four monsters being released out of the Euphrates River once the river is dry. And these four monsters will go to the north, the south, the east, and the west, and they'll make up camp, basically. They're going to just sit there and wait until the seal of God is completely passed out. And then they're going to kill, steal, and destroy. The Euphrates River... Once it dries, a 200 million army is going to walk across. And everything inside of me says that you're going to see Russia, China, Syria, Iraq, Iran, all start to join in this. The militias that are all across the Middle East. You're going to see South Africa probably be joining in on this. Venezuela. All right. These countries are all going to be joining in on this. All right. And you're going to see them attack Israel so fast. It's going to be like a lion that jumps out of the thicket. Okay, y'all? That's what Bible says. If you've ever watched any of these African videos, go watch one when a lion jumps out of the thicket goes after a, an azale. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. All right? This is real. <sighs> when it comes out, he's going to almost completely destroy Israel. All right, there's going to be almost completely nothing, almost nothing left, okay? And this is going to be the point in time when God himself completely destroys Damascus, all right? We are going to see probably fire fall from the sky or something like that. It's not going to be done by man's hands. It will be done by the glory of God. The whole world will see the lion fall to his knees, all right? And, um... That will come after Israel is basically destroyed almost. And America will be next. I mean, America's on that line. Sorry, y'all. America's getting wiped off the face of the earth, too. They're going to fall overnight. But um, I'm telling you these things now because everything inside of me says that I've got to start to speak more. Because the more that things happen, the more confident I am. And what God has been starting to show me since 2009 when I had the very first dream. And I have narcolepsy. And I don't even supposed to even have dreams. Alright. I mean, my wife had a dream last night. You know. And um, it's just, just crazy. Because, I mean, it's not like we, we have all these dreams. Okay. We're not dreamful people, I guess you could say. But there's things coming and the closer we get the more is revealed and the more understanding is given and i submit to you just like fourth ezra the book fourth ezra that was a part of the apocalyptic books you should be like ezra and you should be fasting man you should be fasting like never before for god to give you understanding so you see like he did for ezra like he did for moses on the mountain for 40 days he gave gave moses mysteries mysteries that he didn't give to other men he gave elijah and enoch mysteries he gave paul mysteries because they seeked for it they desired it they wanted it and as the father of the creator of this world he gave it to them because they seeked his face they did what he asked i beg you with all my heart share Today is not the day to play games anymore. Today is not the day to cry out what this or that is. Or Today's the day to be crying out. Our king is coming, y'all. I mean, it's been over 2,000 years since a red heifer has ever been born that we know of on the face of this earth because Christ took the place of these sin offerings, all right, and man literally changes the DNA of cows to produce a red heifer. You cannot tell me the wrath of God is about to pour out on the beloved Israel, the nation of Israel, because they are choosing a heifer over Messiah. Repent. The kingdom is at hand. The wheat has turned brown. And very, very soon, the buds of the wheat will be full. And they will humble and bow down, just like every wheat the field does before the harvest. Have a blessed day. And I pray that you listen. Because our King is coming, y'all. Our King is coming. Have a blessed day. Thank you.